Good morning, friends. I hope you have tried to solve the problem on your own first. So now let's in this video let's start uh, implementing this uh, the first part where we are going to implement the tail command for a static file. So as the program is given that uh, we have to create a jtail command, a tail command. I will call it as jtail, and uh, we will have to provide two arguments: a file name and a number of lines, starting from the last. Okay, so. I already got my IntelliJ open. I created a basic JTail class like Java Tail and a test class as well to implement uh, some unit test cases. So let's look at this JTail first. As it's mentioned that uh, it should take two arguments. So I will create uh, two private field members. So I'll call it as private final string file name and private final int number of lines. The margin is final, so it should be there in the constructor. So add constructor parameters. And I'll just implement it. So if we, uh, whenever we create a JTL uh, object, it will uh, pass it here as a constructor argument. And I will just have some preconditions here that if the file name is null or empty, then it should return, it should throw an uh, illegal state exception. And so the, the number of lines should be always greater than zero. Otherwise, there is no need of number of lines, right? So let's do some preconditions here. So if file name equal null or file name is empty or number of lines is less than or equal to zero. So these are the preconditions checks. And in that case, you have to throw illegal, uh, I will say argument exception or invalid object exception, whatever. So I think let's use invalid object exception. And I will call string dot format and use invalid file name and whatever is provided uh, I'll use percent s and let me create it in a separate line so it would be easier to view the format invalid this file name and number or number of lines you're just printing out number of lines okay and I will pass this as an argument for this string format file name and number of lines so these are our preconditions control alt L as it is a checked exception I will instead use illegal state exception so that would be better. I need, don't need to like explicitly throw it. So this was better. So I change it from a checked exception to unchecked exception. So whenever there is any uh, uh, like P arguments fail, in that case, it will just throw uh, illegal state exception and uh, provide those parameters that we have passed. So this is a very basic that how we created. So let's start writing our first unit test case just to see that uh, whether it's all good. And then we will implement the static file. So let me insert a test case so i will test a tail method for a given file right so we just use here and uh okay so instead of this i will also like have a display name just for better description of this test so test tail method for a given file okay. and uh, before we implement anything I will I will actually like to like have pass uh, various uh, the file with the different arguments I mean if I can pass like number of lines as two three five whatever so instead of test I will use a parameterized test then 
So I will again change it to parameterize test. And here I will use a method source as our argument that needs to be passed. And I will call it as get jtail objects. And here I will pass our as a jtail object as an as a parameter here. So, so guys, the difference between parameters and argument is that parameter is this one and the actual value that we will pass is called as an argument. So this is the difference. I mean, many of the uh, developers don't know. That's the difference between parameters and argument. So anyway, let's first of all implement this, uh, have a method here. So control V and I will mark it as static because we are going to have uh, written uh, all this like JTL commands here. So I will just use that. And uh, so it should be private static and returning a stream of arguments. So stream of arguments. Okay. And here I will create a file as a string. So I'm going to use this amendments of txt here. This is this is this. So I've already got this amendment.txt, which has got like 450 lines. So I will use this. And because it uses test, I'm using Windows. I will use this double black stuff. Resources and source test resources and amendment.txt. And then I will return stream of And then here, in this case, I will I want the same file name. And as we have seen that there are number of uh, number of lines that I want to print using this tail. So this is what it will be varying here. I want to do it for say two, three, five, whatever. So here I will return this. I will use arguments of again a static metric method and a new J tail. And uh, I will pass the file name which I have created. And suppose we, I want to, okay, from uh, control D, then three, and finally I will return with say, oh sorry, control D again, and five. Okay, so again, let, let me revise what I have done. So. I created a parameterized test case, which means that uh, I will be getting all this as an argument here from this uh, get detail objects as a method source. And uh, I have created this file name string, which is amendment .txt, which is in our test sources resources folder. And I'm going to pass various parameters with the number of lines because the, I want uh, for each of the test cases, it would be printing me for the first one. It should be printing the two lines, the last two lines, the last three lines and last five lines. So here we will write our final test case. So I will just print it out just for our smoke test. And before I print it out, I will create a custom two string method, something as alt insert uh, two string, and I will just print it out here. So let's test our a very basic like creation of this detail, detail object using this parameter, uh, parameterized method. And then uh, after that, we will implement the static file tail method. So let's run this first. So let me click on this run button. So it will just print out uh, the JTL for the three objects that we're creating. So as expected, we can see that we have got this file name and the number of lines as two, three, and five. So this was just a smoke test just for uh, initialization of our JTL object. Now let's implement the JTL dot tail method. It's not there yet, so we'll implement it.